Today we play a rather infamous golf course that often plays second or even third fiddle to one of the big boys. We are playing the Jubilee course at St Andrews. It's more affordable, more accessible, and from what I've heard, sometimes a lot more enjoyable. Welcome to the next 100 tour. Let's get to the first tee and see exactly how we can rank on the next 100 leaderboard. Take us away. I think it's going to have to be a little driving iron number on this opening hole to get us away. It is four iron stinger. That is a delightful opening tee shot. Yeah. Great shot. I've got the two, so I've got a bit less loft. Oh, that's a nice one as well. We're on the move. We'll have a bit of that. And we are off. So guys, as you can tell, we are today at the home of golf for the next 100 tour. We're at the Jubilee course, which is bang next to the old course, which is steeped in history. You still get the vibe, actually. You still get the feeling of playing St. Andrews, which I was a little bit worried you might not do. This place isn't cheap. It's cost £260 for me and Chris to play and then extras for your push me pullmes and things like that. It's, of course, it's not got quite as much history as the old course, but a lot of people say they actually enjoy this course a lot more. So... Two very good tee shots, Chris. Oh, yeah. Oh, you wouldn't be happy with that, would you? No. Look at that. So today we are using the seed. What are you using, Chris? I think we're not going to take this one. Yeah, you've done me by a yard. That is the SD05, which Chris is using. I'm actually using the SD01 today because it's not that windy. I'm going to try and get it flighted. I've got the 05, so again, a little bit softer feeling. 133 flag, chip a nice 99. We can't really go at this time without bunkers too much in the way. Or go at it. Yeah. Oh, and short. What in the bunker. That the ball is struck eight, nine. That was a nine. Oh, great shot. Under the circumstances of uh, your partner's terrible shot, that was uh, that was very good. So guys, as you can see the leaderboard, 10 under par is leading at London Lynx Golf Club. Can we match that? Can we beat it? A little bit breezy today, but this is one of the calmest days you are going to get the Jubilee course at St Andrews on. Hmm. It's a great show into the first, that, Chris. It's a very busy area as well. It's got the Dunhill Lynx here next week, or the week after the Ryder Cup, should I say. We're filming this in September. You're probably seeing it in March, actually, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, all, all systems go. Not my best. Oh, it's all day, Chris. It must be in. Oh, what a roll. Yes, come on. Great roll. I think I read a little bit too much into Chris's line there. Send it a little bit too high. But there's a part on the opening hole here on the Jubilee course. Level par. Okay, the second hole, 337 yard, par four, stroke index 13. As you can see, not too much trouble until you get to around the driving distance. Two bunkers up on the left-hand side there. Ideally, we're going to play short of those, then leave a nice wedge in. I don't think there's going to be many drivers here today. Is that going to mean we're not going to contend, or is it going to mean we're going to keep the ball in play? Did you get some nice artwork there, Chris? It was great, that. Right, Chris leads away. It's going to be driving iron again. A lot of these we've seen today, Tacoma 101 U's. Another position A from Chris. He's on autopilot with that thing. Yeah, great shot. Great shot. She plays. Oh, another first four shout. Oh, another four shout. That were a big one, weren't it? He was it? a bit more aggressive with it, that guy. I think they were shouting at other people, you know. Oh dear. Not having it. That's a great ball. Keep coming. Fading nicely. We've got the left and the right side of the fairway covered. Let's see which is the best angle. So mine's just missed the fairway to the left. Chris is on the fairway to the right there. I think mine might be a better angle in, depending on oh, it's here. Oh. Bit of a down slope. Yours? Yeah, it's 110 to the front here. Yeah, so. not too far in then. What I love about this as well is we've come to St Andrews and you never really, I would never really think about playing the Jubilee or the Eden. And I know they are a little bit more accessible than the old course. And sometimes some people say it's a better course as well. The fact we're doing this series, the next 100 series, this is why we're here and this is why we're doing this series. Some of the courses we've played so far, Kilspindy, Dunbar, Ladybank, all fantastic golf courses that you may not tick off if you weren't thinking next 100. Right, let's start making some birdies 
and some headway on that leaderboard. Just let you lead us away. What a lovely lone tree that is. It is, isn't it? Oh, be good. Be good. Yeah. Well, it looked right at it. Oh, close. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Caressing it. Amazing how you got that to fade off that ball above feet live. Yeah. Do anything with these 301 MBs. You don't walk like a blind when you're over it. That's a good shot. I think shot. that's good as well, you know. I'd be interested to see which one's closer there. Two good shots. Two different flights. Absolutely. Can you the ball? Chris, stop it. Stop it. Sometimes I feel like we waste shots when we both play a shot like that. Nice little short put for Birdie on the second to get to one under. I like I like early birdies on this series. Last week we didn't have a birdie till the fifth hole. Then once in a bit of a run, but can't beat an early one. You also can't beat a push me pull me trolley. No matter what bag you're using, that is so much easier than carrying anything. Can we just have a word, Chris? How's that not gone in? I don't know. Where it is, it's had to be close. What a green, what a tree. What a course. What a course. I can't see the pitch, Mark. What a player. Oh my lord, that is disgusting. I was after the tee there. That is pure and utter filth. I can't believe that. It stayed on its line as well, look, on the axis. It has. Solid. Got to be firmer, Chris, on the line. One under through two. On the move. <laughs> on the Jubilee. Okay, third hole, the first par five. Stroke index one, the hardest hole on this golf course. A bunker on the left, two big bunkers on the right at your driving distance. This hole is designed to catch you out off the tee. That's why it's stroke index one. I'm going to go a little bit more safe. And again, these are going to play a huge role today in how we can score. Chris, I'll let you lead us away. One under through two. Playing defensive, but playing sensible, which I think is what you have to do here, especially into the wind. Yeah, well, we're under par, aren't we? So it's working, some would say. It's on street, it's absolutely delightful. That was actually a three that time as well, James. Well, I'm mixed... never going to get past that then, am I? I've mixed it up. Is it worth me hitting driver now you're there? Cause I'm just going to put it bang next to you again, aren't I? Yeah, I think you hit driver at that left trap. That's 36 holes for us today. Feeling it already. Not made for 36 holes. Two great courses and we've got some good Scottish weather here, late September. Contrast to yesterday. Sharp, turning a bit. Mm, I don't know, depends if it opens up. Mm. I've got ball in hand, we have found James. We have found it, and that's, I can't remember how wide open it is there. I honestly expected that to be, well, I expected it to be lost, but yeah. um, what have we got, a long way? Oh God. Might be able to sneak there in two. You hit it pretty well, didn't you? you got 250. As long as you can carry that bunker, you're all right, aren't you? Yeah, I think again. Deceiving because that might be a little bit short. Right, it's going to be all of this, but I don't think it's, I don't, I'm not comfortable with a three wood, so. Cut. I think that's so good. Just cut. I think that's safe as houses, you know. Safe. Yeah. It just didn't move, did it? Didn't move. So far, it's been a masterclass. It's over the bunker and running, so we'll see. It landed in an upslope, let's see. It's all. Well, we should maybe have paid more attention to the course guide because there's actually another bunker over that bunker. Luckily enough, mine's okay up that left side. Not sure where Chris's has finished. Chance with a chip and a putt, maybe, to get two under through three. Here on the next 100 tour, guys, hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this series. And let us know in the comments how we're going to get to the top of that leaderboard this Sunday. I'm all right. I'm going with mine. Chris was well short of that bunker anyway. This is just a slightly better angle in to that flag. Okay, first time for the day. 56 degrees sky, 4G001 wedge. Do you reckon they're going to be receptive, these greens? I think so. They've got a bit of stuff on them. Ooh. Land over that dark patch. You nearly took that car out there. Over the I was going to go on the dark patch, but that's an upslope, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you want to be past that. Sure. 
That's a fantastic. A bit map. short. Well, it was like short of the landing zone. Yeah. Right? Let's admit the truth. It was. It was a great shot. Sorry, I've only put it to about two feet. We're a, we're a team, James. You don't need to get negative. For an own ball birdie. Oh yeah. Which will be a tenant. That's why you blocked me out. There's a ridge at the back. A Wayne Ridge back. <laughs> oh, it Liam Ridge back. Yeah. yeah. Ridge well. <laughs> Ridge back's a dog. <laughs> Wayne Ridge back. Oh, nearly so good. Great effort. Wayne Ridge back. I don't know who he is. Anyone comment below? Are you Wayne Ridge back? Old Ridgey. Old Ridge back. Now we're going to let you into a little bit of a secret. We're three holes in, and me and Chris have both played the old course. Now, guys, if you played the old course, let us know in the comments what well, you think this might be better. Yes, it's got the history, it's got the first hole, the 17th, the 18th, but really. So far, we haven't played a bad hole, have we? They've all been quiet. We haven't. I'm still amazed by that tree on the second. How loud do you have to talk? We might up if you want. Another ball shout in the, uh, in the dunes. Own ball oh. birdie. It's not an own ball birdie for James. There. No tenants par a two. Duff it. No, I see all right. Actually, thank you very much. Well, unfortunately, that's a par on the par five. I thought we'd played it really well there, but one under through three. Flags could do with some work, couldn't they? Yeah, could do with a freshening up. But apart from that, not much to complain about so far. Okay, unfortunately we couldn't make birdie there, but fourth hole, par four, 338 yards off the blue tees we're playing off today. Well bunkered again in that driving distance, and then a huge green that goes left to right, and a well bunkered, kind of pyramid style bunker green there, so very, very interesting. Chris, are we going to keep the same logic? You're going to try and keep us in play, and then I'll yeah. just have a, a whack. A wallop. Yeah. Stop it. I want to put a compilation together of this for the guys at Tacoma. Compilation of soft face. It's, it's a masterclass. We're going to throw one of those low ones you like this morning. Yeah, at that left bunker. It's the low one. Chase. Chase. It's going in that bunker. Ooh. Right, Chris, it's your tee shot. Mine's in that bunker over there. I'll go and fetch it in a second and I'll just put a different ball in play. Initially, what we got? 125. 125. Well, might be a little 9 iron this, you know, with that wind. That wind is quite strong, although you can't really hear it. Yeah, because we're a little bit lower down. Where are these gentlemen going? Do they know? Hogwarts, by the look, he's got red trousers on. We don't know. Either Hogwarts or Parliament. Or he's going for a. Well, I can't put that in. Parliament, you call him a <laughs> flight one in. You got wedge? Yeah. Oof. Can't imagine that was the flight you wanted, was it? You know the best thing is I actually struck that really well. Came out very low. I don't need nine, do I? No, I took a bit too much loft off that one. Chris, I'll flight one in with a wedge. <laughs> It was flight and it ticked. But you know this is going to go short bunker now, don't you? Yeah, probably. Let's well, try not with that negativity. It's going next to the flag, James. I believe. That's a delightful shot. Fading it back. That is really good, isn't it? That's a great shot. Stay there. Outside chance. I've, I've taken your divot out again. Two divot, double divot. Double divot. Double can't put that in. Oh, <laughs> you know what's crazy? Really think about it. If we got as well, that's a lesson, isn't it? It missed the bunker, and we'd have had a much easier angle to try and get closer. That that is lazy on my part. I apologise for that. Luckily enough, we hit an okay wedge in, so we're, we've got a chance. But we need to do better. Must try harder. Push me, pull me. Can we have a word for the size? of this green. That is absolutely mad. Chris, do you reckon you'd have a flag up here? Could have one you definitely have one there. Here. What about like here? 
No. It would be close. impossible. I mean, it depends how the greenkeeper's feeling. Well, yeah, just because a legal flag would be here, would it? Maybe. And then you. Anyway, that's where we are. Right, Chris. I'll let you go first. Right, He's looking where they're in. This for two under through four, it would be quite a good start. We've never we've never really had a much faster start than that, have we? No. We never start amazingly. To say this is our second round of the day. Turn, turn. Oh, it's not turn. That does have its own challenges though, playing two rounds a day, especially at different golf courses with different speed greens and different conditions and stuff. Let's see if we can roll this in. Over the edge again. We need to be holding these, Chris. We need to be holding them. That's what held us back this morning. It is, it is. Okay, the fifth hole, first of the par threes, measuring just 136 yards. Bunkers both short and short right. A huge ridge that will take the ball to the right if you miss it. And a flag, which should be accessible, but those guys have taken it out so you can't see it. You've got eight, or wedge. Wedge. An hour to play four. I know. It's the only thing about here, isn't it? I feel like there's plenty of wind up there. If I take enough off it, it looks like it slopes back to front anyway. I'll just watch the guys in front. We want to be the left of the flag. Just like that. Is that too far left? That could be too far left, James. Oh, it's on the green. Yeah, the gentleman in front was about the same line, but moved down. Oh, that's that's got to go, has it? I don't think distance-wise. I think Valley of Sin. Oh, it has got to go distance-wise. Oh, Chris. Wheels. When are you going to learn? Take the right club, man. Wheels are off. Wheels are off. Very disappointed that's not come down off that ridge. I'm not going to lie, but that is now a very hellish putt. Chris is going to wipe these guys out in front of his trolley. Better distance control there with my trolley than that pitching wedge. I'm going to give it, you though, it did land on that ridge. It didn't land there. It did. But we now have an awful putt. <laughs> we do. Get off with it. Ooh. Chris is Look at that. throwing my white head covered at you. How's that? It's pitched there, hasn't it? Just didn't need much. I think we just need to get it going. Yeah, big left to right. Mm. An outstanding attempt. Even that's gone, Lord. Yeah, that's going. You need to be outside this hay. You need to be about here. Outside of that, yeah. Soft, just over the edge. Stay up. Come on, stay up. Oh, how good was that effort? <laughs> And that's the best you could do from there. Literally just got that moving. Ooh, stinky. Yes, never. We made a bogey on a par three, well, last I week, didn't we? And I'm thinking, that. surely it's not going to strike twice, but that's um, it's a hard-earned par. Okay, the sixth hole, we now have another par five, quite a long one at 473 yards off our tees. You can see really well bunkered again. This is for your layup and this is for your driver, pretty much. And then an incredibly well bunkered green, as you can see there. Can we get a drive away? Are we going to keep with the same plan, Chris? Yes. Play fair is the name of this. So let's play fair. Nice. It's going to make it a three shot of that one, isn't it? But it's in play. It is. Yeah, lovely shot. Right, I'm going to try and draw a driver. Ooh. Start at your ball and just kind of move towards. You see that shack? Shack. Oh, yeah. The shack. Wind's off left, so it needs to be a bit of a big draw. Stay. The good news is... It's short of the bunker. It's short of that bunker. The dream's alive. Okay, Chris has played us a nice one down the right-hand side of the fairway, but mine's probably a better angle and a bit further up with hitting driver, so we should be able to get on this par five in two. We could do with making some moves, really. We're one under par, Chris. We are, aren't we? We need to make some moves and try and yeah, sneak a few more birdies on the board. I think we've got about 209. 
That's to the front. Might not, but I can I get a four there? No. Oh. I've worked out the problems, Chris. When was the last time we had wine gums? True, snack of the day today, bounty. Very controversial, but mix it up. <laughs> Why is it controversial? Oh, well, don't get bounties every day, do you? <laughs> controversial. I'm going to go like a low one again, Chris. Probably land it around 200. Get it chasing. Did you hear that fall shout from over there? <laughs> That's a... killed someone, hasn't it? That. If it was seagulls giving it a go, or it was a. Uh... That was definitely a fall shout by about eight people. Immune on fall shout. So that is front right of the green, as you can see it there. So that's going to be a chance to go up and down. Chris, let's go one better. Come on. You've got this with the 101U. Uh, it's sliding away a bit. Maybe needs to be lower as well. Very similar to mine. Not bad, but not great. Right, guys, this is what we've got into the par five. So a chip for an eagle or up and down for a birdie. Uh, I'm going to go mine. A little bit more lush rather than the dry bit. You can place yours, but that's on a bit of a right. ball above. I thought it might release out better for you, but you've been quite assertive with them anyway, haven't you? Aggressive. Mm. What a bounce. What a bounce that was. What? I thought I played that quite well. That's Link's golf here at its finest. I don't know whether to reevaluate what I'm doing because of that or just it was an unlucky bounce. It was very unlucky. That was a Lynx bounce. You don't want your usual fizzers just right to the flag. That was a delightful show. Just a lovely low checker, wasn't it? The versatility is real. And he got it. Left edge. Look at the bird. Oh, no! Swinger. Absolute swinger. Get in! What a man. Oh, what a boy. Yes. Ugh. Right then, he's two under par through six holes. We are now on the seventh hole, 341 yards. The one thing I will say about this golf course is a lot of the holes are very, very similar yardage. They're all around 330, 340. So if it's not a windy day, Chris can just kind of hit the iron away, then I'll have a go with driver. That kind of would be the game plan or vice versa because we're both kind of equally as bad with driver. But you can imagine if it's 20 mile an hour winds, this 340 all of a sudden plays 400 and odd and then it's driver and a long iron. So you can kind of see why the holes are this distance. This one looks like a gorgeous hole, bunkers on the right. And as you can see, an incredibly narrow entrance to this green. Par four, stroke index 10. Let's see if we can keep that birdie train rolling and get to three under through seven. Honestly, it's like a, a symphony of incredible strikes. That's just position A again. Just bang in the middle. I'm surprised you've looked at a fade there, you know, when the hole goes that way. Fade it off the flag. I can't really play a draw, which is a minor detail. I'm struggling to draw it at the minute, which isn't like me. I'm going to go out the flag then, Chris. Yeah. Full send. Come on. Come on. I don't know. No. Is my answer there? Me neither. No slug? Oh, there. Yeah. Uh, what have we got? Six. That's the club, just left, little fade. Yeah, just trap it a little bit, nice and low. 150, is it? Yeah. James. I mean, it's on. It's on? That's all we can say about it. Okay. Caress her under the wind. Yeah, grip down a little bit. Oh, be the club. That's be it. the club. Come on. Oh, oh, that's a great, it's just gone long. Just long. Yeah, that's a chance though, good chance. shot. Right, Chris, here we go. I'll put my bounty away. Yeah. If you hold it, you can finish it. If not, you've got to wait till the back nine. Thank you very much. Oh, 
Turn. Oh, cool pace. Oh. <laughs> that was a terrible chip. I didn't think it was how you wanted to play it. Oh, volleyed. volleyed it. <laughs> Solid putt. Good job my chip hit the flag, wasn't it? It was, otherwise. We're down there somewhere. Okay, eighth hole, another par four, just 355 yards this time. You can see no bunkers on this hole, so might give this a rip, but there is out of bounds all down that left side. Chris is, I imagine, going to hit driving iron, are you, Chris? I am. Leave us in position. I'm going to try and get up and around here. If anything, it shows oh, this is where you want to attack if you can. Yeah. Right, come on then, Chris. We need to get some birdies going. We're two under. A couple of birdies on this front nine finishes off. one for the collection another fairway another hole. another perfect position in the fairway as well actually yeah opened it up bit of a dog leg yeah if i was playing this course i wouldn't be hitting driver all the time but because you're there there's no point recreating your tee shot is there no stay Seen it bounce. Similar line, bit further, obviously. Right, 97 left. 97 yards. We're in the rough, but it's further up and it's a little bit of a better angle, isn't it? Yours was probably 40 yards further back in the fairway. Yes, yeah, so we've gone with a little bit of a backstop behind. Do you think you can use I wonder if I can use that though? I don't think they're quick enough, are they? No. I'm gonna try and land this about 80 and then just release out with a wedge. Pulled it though. That came out weird. Oh, thought you was using the contours then. Don't know what happened there. Anyway, not my best. Long day of golf to do with this close, Chris. If you don't mind. Looks good. Yeah, lovely shot. That'll do us. Very good, sir. Well, I must admit, I am totally shocked by this golf course. As soon as you get away from the hustle and bustle of the old course, the old course hotel and the RNA clubhouse, I would never have believed that this is what it was like. So if you are um and iron about coming to play the Jubilee course, guys, I honestly would because I've really, really enjoyed it so far. Looking forward to the holes going back in. Can we hold this to get to three under par? I think it's the same for both we've played today. This, uh, this today and last week both surprises again Torrance is not normally a course and Fairmont's not the one that everybody mentions but it was in fantastic condition this you morning. mentioned it's a little bit like one of your favorite courses Trump Aberdeen yeah it certainly is make America great again what's that Chris you voted Trump <laughs> right to left must be go 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 never moved did it Nothing but net. Go. The fans up in the gantry have gone wild. The gas. Can't down. believe it. Spotting birds and watching us miss pulls. The ninth hole, another gorgeous par three, 176 yards. It's actually playing longer than that today, playing more 185. A bunker short, which you should be able to carry even with a miss hit. We are playing downwind today, two bunkers out to the right. Really enjoying green. I think it does favour the left hand side. Chris, what are you going with? Eight iron. Eight iron. I'm going to chip in more of a six and try and play it just a little bit lower and a bit more under control. But, right, Chris, away you go. A painfully slow round continues. Oh, he's played the Tina. Be good. Finally got a draw. Is that good? I don't know. It was all over it, wasn't it? It's all right. Be a long putt. The shape, not the shot. Say the positives. It was a great strike. And down the end of the hedge. That will be my dog. Mm, need to bounce. Not sure we've got one. It's a great strike. Took a kick in, Chris. But we couldn't see. You see all the humps and bumps Still over there. Kick in. We did get the bounce. Thirty chance. Or two under. Oh, <sighs> again. 
just not holding putts today. Greens have got a bit of something on them. Wet in here, isn't it? It's another course I feel like we're enjoying, but we're not scoring. Well. No. Must be, must be. Yes! Oh. Get in. Guys, that is the end of the front nine here on the Jubilee course at St Andrews. Three under, not the best by any means, but leaves in great shape to start to the back nine. Okay, what a finish to the front nine. We're going to kick the back nine off with the 10th hole, 400 yard. No bunkers again on this hole. Out of bounds down the left though. Slight dog leg to the right. Chris, are we carrying on the routine? We are. Although you said there's no bunkers, it looks like all that just looks good without bunkers. Yeah, it does actually. I think this is a miles better course than the old course. I'm putting it out there. I do too. We've not found one bad hole. James is going to show you a dog that's just sitting with his owner there in a minute. Same as your dog is, is that too? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a boy. Look at him. He looks chilly. What a boy. Look at this phone. It's terrible. Our dogs would not be doing that. No, my dog would be probably in the estuary. I <laughs> too. Well trained they are though. Ooh, it's the first bad one of the day. That was not called for. We are now downwind off the right, so a total change in wind direction. A little bit of a loose one there. This is my kind of wind though, Chris, don't you worry, son. This is your time to shine. Big eye draw. Yeah. He's here. He's arrived. As soon as I get that like wind across there, if I can just hit it hard. He's arrived. That is deep. Deep <laughs> day. That's it. <laughs> right, good drive finally from me. This is what we're left with. Not too far, probably the best part of a 70 yard pitch. Downwind, this should be a bit more playable, a bit more scorable. Hopefully we can try and capitalise after Chris hold that wonderful two put on the last. 56 I think this will be, will it? Straight at it. I think so, yeah. I think so too. Bit of a ridge in front of the flag, isn't they? Mm. False front. Oh, pulled it again. Struck it so good. Pulled it again. Finest after that drive. No. There's loads of room right, Chris. This is that double green. Oh, is it? Yeah. Loads of room right. <laughs> Absolute earmuffs. <laughs> Shy birds. Well, 120 yards in, and this is what we're left with. That's probably one of the worst we've had. It's into chip. Yeah, it's into wind, so it should check and hopefully roll out after it goes over that ridge. Go on. I have the line as well. Add good. the line. Good effort. Gotta give it a go. Oh! oh. Move right in the line. Awful. Last minute dive. That's a chance gone. Still three under through ten. Well, should uh, both of us not miss this. Three under through ten. Okay, 11th hole, let's see what we can do here. Par five, a lone tree in the middle of the fairway. You want to go left of that and then bunkers up the left-hand side from there towards a well-bunkered green, both short left and middle right. A lot of big undulating green from back to front as well. Can we try and make a birdie or even an eagle here? We are three under par. I'd love to leave here at five under. So what we now? More fade than I wanted, but it's incredibly safe, is what I'll say. Back <clears throat> to hitting fairways. Do you have my pebble? There. Right, I'm going to go just left of the tree with a touch of draw, hopefully. The wind's back in the other direction because we're going back into it. Not too windy, though. Yeah, quite poor. That is a bullet. Be alright, will it? Perfect, yep, yeah, my side of the fairway. It's not where I wanted it, but I'll take it. Made a seagull dance. Seagulls. Okay, Chris has ball in hand, and mine's just up there the right-hand side. We've got a chance. It's not a great chance, but we should be able to try and get up and down, maybe for a birdie, try and get to four. I think a nice score today is seven or eight. Ten's, ten's doable, but we're going to have to pull our fingers out. 
We've already played 18 holes today, so we're a tiny bit tired, but that's no excuse. Come on. It's a delightful. That was shape. so nice, wasn't it? Bit of check. Delightful. Oh, attacking. Positive again. Robinson has that for an own ball birdie and a free tenants from Mr. Dennis. Own ball birdie. Oh, me no. Oof. Oof, thought it had slid by. Signed Four up. under. Taking Good. care of the par fives nicely today. Good up and down. 12th tee. Four hours in. Lost a will to live. Four under. Five under par. Five under par? I've lost count. I've lost count, it's been that long. Oh dear. Right, in all seriousness guys, 12T, par five. Incredibly well bunkered up the left, a big bunker on the right. It's just taking too long. I love this golf course. This golf course is amazing and I love the old course as well. This is probably a little bit better, but it's just painfully slow. Friday afternoon, there's no competition on. There's a breath of wind. And without moaning, it's cost two, with trolleys, 300 pound to be stood here like this. This doesn't grow the game, does it? No. This morning, how long did it take us this morning? Round? Three hours. Three hours round Fairmont, we're done by now. Right, positive vibes, Chris. Aim at the Fairmont Hotel. Yeah, go for it. I don't know. Might be in the Fairmont Hotel. <laughs> oh no, that's the wrong so I'm thinking the old course hotel. <laughs> Got my hotels mixed up. It's been a long day. Right, I'll play safe. Yeah, probably for the best, mate, I think, after my... Uh... Delightful again. It's been a pleasure to watch that. Great shot. Bounding down the right side of the fairway. Opened her up. Wonderful. I think that is a seed down. Doesn't help any nap on that tee, but uh, about 2.30 from yours? Yep, 2.30 downwind. I'm going to hit a two iron, you know, trying to chase it up a bit. The old 101U. So guys, we were contemplating, declaring after four hours. Would you do that? Should a round of golf take this long? No. I, I don't want to feel like we're moaning, because Chris has just said, it's, people should be enjoying the round, they've paid a lot of money to play here, but does that mean it should take this? You don't need to be taking this long to enjoy yourself, do you? No. You certainly don't. So just another, on a string it is. Round side of the green? Yep. Pin eye. Chip and a putt. If you can birdie the par fives, that's the key, isn't it? It's the key to success. Draw. It's online with yours, isn't it? It's pretty social. Yeah, it's a great strike. I enjoyed it. it. Just didn't move. The wind probably held it a bit, actually, as well. Right, not the best from mine. On the bottom of the leaderboard. Right, Chris, 13th hole, par 3, 170 yards, let's lead away. It's going to be a nice low chippy one, I think, isn't it? A low four iron for me. Four iron. The wind's now up, properly up. It's just stayed left on him. Probably the worst of the day for you. That's going to be flag high, actually, but... Oh. Oh. Not yeah. your best. Not my best. Time to 
shine. Nice like these shots. Come on, fade. Yeah, solid shot. Right, although group morale is low, we are on a bit of a birdie run. We've birdied the last two. There were par fives. We've now got this on the par three. Just a difficult par three, that into the wind, quite a difficult kind of people down on the green in front of you, people left. So if you don't like hitting people like I don't, quite a difficult shot. We'll flag high though. We are. So we'll think of the positives. Take the positives. Good pace, never moved. Never moved, did it? You gave that bit of a whack, didn't you, as well? Mm. A better line. Oof. Pumped. Right, just enough to hold out. Easy. He doesn't miss those. We don't miss them. Okay, 14th hole, 428 yards. I think it's a par four for us, although I'm not entirely sure. It just says par four slash five. We'll play it as a par four because I'm sure that's what it is off here. Well bunkered, Chris. Another glorious tee shot. That's in a fair way. It's a worker. Down the right side. Right, Chris's ball was in the fairway. Mine's a bit further down, but it's in the right hand rough. We're going to take mine just because proximity to the flag wise, it's generally easier to hit it closer the closer you are, Chris. Yeah, the closer you are, the more you're expected to obviously be able to get it closer to the flag. So even out of the rough, that can affect it, but we'll have to have a look. That's all over it. That goes a little bit. Keep going, just short. Just short. Not bad though, it might be a putt. So it'll be interesting to see how far that is away. It's better flight. It left. That is on the green. Probably about 30 feet away. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. So interesting enough, James has hit it roughly to around about his elusive 30 feet and had probably around about the same, but obviously short. So mine was on the line, but James is better distance control and James got a better chance of- And yours looked like a better shot. So that's the lesson in reverse, isn't it? Yours looked better. Mine's a little bit closer, maybe on the radius of it, but Realistically, they're about the same, but I'd, you'd rather be on the green, I think, than there. Yeah, we've got better chance of getting up and down or down in two from there than we have short of the green. Oh, he just straightened up at the end. Good pace. Oh, please. Oh, that's not much. I mean, social. But, Identical. And that's exactly when we talk about pace. Pace is good. We'd hope from there we're going to two put, which is what we'd expected to do. Go on, finish them off. All yours off. That is going to be a par. And that is still five under par. Ooh. Right, Chris, I'm going to go with the two iron because I don't feel like when I've been hitting driver, we've really been benefiting. I think that's a fair shout. 335 yard, par four, 15th hole. Probably a gorgeous dog leg to the right, to be honest. Yeah, we saw this earlier on as we do pass it when we was going out and it looked a great hole. That's a good shot. Oh, it's kicked left. How's that kicked left? Oh dear. It's exactly what I wanted. Nice. Tiger line. Oh, really good. You really have been on fire with that, haven't you? Perfect place for these, really. It is. Perfect. And again, was that the three or the four? That was the three. Not the longest course. I mean, it's not windy today, but no. getting me around. Very good. Right, guys, I'm going to say it, and I, w I wanted to kind of hold off from saying this until we got to like the kind of back nine or on the 15th now. This is such a good golf course. It really it isn't the little brother of the old course. It isn't the, the one that's shoved to one side. This is a golf. If this was down the road from the old course, I think it would have maybe a better reputation. People, more people would play it. I think it's a great golf course. Chris, I think he agrees actually that 
for fun, if you've played the old course a couple of times and you know the history, which one would you come back and play? I'd play this one. Yeah. A lot, a lot more. Again, it's very similar to the course we played last week. So when we played at Fairmont, which it actually was this morning, we haven't yet found a bad hole. There's not one hole where we thought. Mm, I mean, that, look at this. This was a fantastic. This, this is a hole that I saw early on, and I thought that's going to be a good hole. Not the longest again, but you've still got to play good golf shots. Like you can't just hit driver. If James would have hit driver, I don't. I, it's, I, too, it's far too narrow, isn't it? So it's Kings Barn, Kings Barns esque this hole. I definitely think he might have been a seed down. Mm. Ball below the feet. Coming back. Go on, a bit. Go on, man. I don't know how on earth that stayed there. Can we just show them this? <laughs> Do you know what that's like? That is like how unlucky yours was on the par three. Oh, thanks, mate. That feels like an age ago, doesn't it? It does. Right, outside left. That was for one on your own. Oops. It's nowhere near, Chris. Not your finest. Tap home. We stay at five. Tied at the bottom of the leaderboard. Okay, gorgeous looking tee shot through this funnel. 16th hole, 407 yard. Par four for us. Stroke index 40. I say for us because I don't get this, Chris, but par uh, male and female on there. I'm not sure if that's... Mm, contentious, but here's a par four for us. Nice, in play again. Yep. So I'm going to basically go over that left-hand bush. Yeah, I think so. That's what the, uh, the book is telling us. I think that should be perfect. That's the best of the day, isn't it? It is the best of the day. Like yeah, I felt, like I felt like I was better balanced and just tried to put the driver at the top and then turn. Well, it took 16 holes, but that was a fantastic It actually shot. took 30, no, 29 holes. 29. Oh, used to That's the thing with that paradigm, isn't it? That's the thing. When you get it, you get it. James, that is me, and James has got it. You know what that was down to, Chris? You gave me your last iron brew. Iron brew kicked in. Right, come on, we need to birdie this. We can't have we can't have this amazing golf course bottom of the leaderboard. We can't. 75 yards in. How are you gonna play this one? With a 56 that's in your bag. With a 56 that is over there. You're playing this one then. I'm gonna play it probably 68 yards. Yep. One bounce, very, one yeah, one spin. bounce stop. The wind's off the right, so I'll probably play, you know, try and carry that ridge on the right. Yeah. And I imagine it breaks right to left that as well, looking at it. That's a great shot. Called it. That was pretty much as I called it, wasn't it? It was. Fantastic shot. It's about time. Oh, it's lovely. Not as good as yours, though. No, never is, mate. No. Well, that's what we're left with. Mine was quite a, a lot closer than Chris's. For so I had some kind birdie. of spillage here, unfortunately. Own ball birdie. For the second of the day. Second. Chris might owe me two tenants tonight. Two tenants. Find a new beer when we go anywhere other than Scotland. I know, yeah. Is there a Welsh beer? We need to go to Wales, don't we? Yeah. Obviously, Ireland's Guinness, isn't it? Yeah. Just outside, right. God forbid, we just have like a water. Yeah. Local water. Pot. Great three, sir. That's probably the best birdie I've ever had. You know, it's like good drive, perfect second shot, roller in. Oh, it's been a long day, though. Okay, 17th hole, par three, 200 yards, Chris. I know, a tough finishing one when we're fatiguing. Oh. Played a great one. That's going to be middle of the green, is it? Left side of the green? It's a great strike. Yep. Left side of the green. 
I'm never a fan of, you know, when the people on the next tee are right behind the flag. Mm. James has a phobia of hitting anything and everything. <sighs> has that gone long? I think so, yeah. Just out that church, church spire. Church spire, middle of the green. We're off the bottom of the leaderboard. <laughs> That's all we care about. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to do it just, that's a great shot. That could be perfect. Oh, it's better than middle of the green. You're not playing that any better, are you? No. So probably a great time to say, we've just been walking down this kind of 17th penultimate hole here on the Jubilee, and we've been talking about the Tacoma Lions and just how good they are. Like that ball flight, I'll put it on again for you. You can do everything you want to do with these golf clubs and more. Just hit that from 200 yards. It felt fantastic. It's done what I wanted it to do. The seed golf ball, again, that's result. That's just performed exactly how you want it to. I can flight it down, I can flight it up. These aren't premium priced products. They're not mega expensive irons, they're not mega expensive golf balls. That's why we've partnered with them for this series. So guys, we've been out there that long, the microphones have now died. So you might wonder what's happened there with the audio on that putt. I basically raced it past. It was for two personal birdies in a row. Um, this is the final hole we have. It is, it's the final hoorah for the final three countdown. Hours. I've loved this. What a golf course it's been. Been an eye opener. Not the only wet. thing I'll say Ooh. is it's taken far too long, and that's that's not me having a wind, that's not me being a grumpy golfer. It's just it can't take that long, it can't, but it's another perfect shot. Middle strike, yeah, it is. Yeah, is it bad that I'm thinking if I hit drivers, every chance I could hit that white caravan there? I'd say yes, but it's probably what most people think. <laughs> That's your glove. You got a tea in your pocket? I certainly have. You got my ball in your pocket? I've got that as well. How else? <laughs> you want to hit this for me? <laughs> oh, Radley's back over there. There he is. Right. Come on. Your last drive was fantastic. I don't know if I can say that's fantastic, but I think I've got away with it. It was that or the caravan. <laughs> I'm going to say, we know Chris's ball lines over there, but it's a terrible angle to go over those bunkers. So, 154, Chris, big eight iron. Yeah. Oh, it's one last hurrah at the middle of the green. Yeah, great shot. Safe. Nice. Right, Chris, this for seven under, which I think is a good innings for the amount of putts that we've missed. Yeah. Oh, it's gone the other way. Hope you have a fantastic Sunday. Next week we are at the Duke's course, which is up that hill. Apart from that, I'll see you tomorrow and I'll also see you next Sunday. <laughs> I think we're finishing time, mate. Oh yes.